Hey guys, what's up? This is Bugger3D Animator with his next tutorial. Today's tutorial is on creating a basic animation using Adobe Flash CS3, CS2, or CS4 professionally. So, what I want you to do to start off is to create a new Flash file, Action Script 2.0. Now, I don't know the difference between a 2.0 and a 3.0, but I think it's kind of like an 8 bit and a 16 bit in Photoshop. With an 8 bit, you can do more. Um, like as a special effects and crap. So I guess it kind of, I don't know. So, go down here to the size, and make the dimension 640 by 480. Frame rate, 15 frames per second. Background color, whatever you want. I'm just gonna put it, uh, black. Press OK. So, you have a little scroll bar here, and you can scroll. This black box in here is, um, that's pretty much your canvas. That's what you're going to be working on. So, the first basic thing is to, you know, get a shape going or something. So, select your brush tool, and your brush, um, sizes and shapes are down here. So, I'm just going to lower the brush size down to about here. Um, white to select the color obviously and here's effect called smoothing so I'm gonna set the smoothing at first down to zero to show you what smoothing does zero smoothing just cleans up those edges slightly see that's extremely pixelated right there it adds an anti anti alias or however you pronounce that pretty much fade out the edges if you add the fading uh, I mean Jesus smoothing up to a hundred it looks a little weird but it smooths it out relatively good and then in between which is about 50 gives you that effect so I think a good setting would actually be more like a 35 in here or even lower but that's that base tool so control alt Z I mean Control Z to go back. So, why don't we start making our first animation? So, first thing I want you to do is draw any shape that you want, even just a line. Now, I think F7 is to insert a new keyframe. Yeah. So, you can't see where your last line was if you're on your second frame. Now, this red box here, you can click and drag to select what frame you're on. That's frame one. That's frame two. Now, if you if you're on frame two and you want to see what's on frame one while staying on frame two, just like the onion skin option. So now, in a grayish color, you'll see what you drew last time. So now, let's kind of make this line move a little bit. So now we shifted it down further and press uh, F7. I apologize to create a new frame. Keyframe, I mean, F7, I apologize for that. Um, so now, you can see the past two layers, which we don't want. We only want the past one layer. Now, you can adjust this to how you like it, but I only like showing the past one layer. So, you drag this start onion skin over, so it only covers two frames. Covering one frame, I don't even understand why they allow that. But two frames, and it'll stay like that. So, I'm going to draw another line moving F7. And you keep kind of changing the area of where your line is. Now it's obviously going to look extremely rough. Okay, so I added a bunch of crap, <laughs> and, um, so now to preview your animation, just press enter. I think it looks pretty good. Well, I'm not gonna get into really advanced stuff yet, but it's a really basic, um, sort of how to make a decent animation. Now, you could also do, um, shapes, uh, and then new frame, 
Trying to figure. But there's no point in doing that because you can do something called motion tweening, which I'm going to explain in the next tutorial. So now if you want to launch it again, you know, you could even do those little effects where um, you draw like the ball. Oh boy. So, the, uh, what I was just doing isn't any really part of the tour, it's just showing that you can do a bunch of um, stuff. So that's how to create a basic animation. Next tutorial, we're going to go over tweening. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.